Hello Virgo. Welcome to reading with me, Cindy. So Virgo, uh, how you doing? Good, good, oh, good, good. So I'm going to do a reading for you. You can see we're in a new space. Um, it's very bright. It's very bright and colorful. It's very mystical and magical. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. So let's go down this trip with me. I'm going to do a little tarot story for you. Do you know what story I'm going to do? I haven't done one of these in a long time. Um, and actually, if you look, if you notice me looking down, it's been so long since I've done this. I used to do these all the time. It's a Celtic cross. And I haven't done one of these in the longest time. And I started doing them last night. I thought, I don't like this. Why did I start doing I don't know. You know what? I'm just feeling like it's Celtic cross time for you for whatever reason. Um, yeah. And I'm going to use, uh, what is this deck called again? I honestly can't remember. I think it might be called the Good Tarot. I don't know. It's been a while. I love it. The imagery. They're big cards, which is also the really funny thing. Because this is a big spread and they're big cards. So I'm going to really take up the table here. Which you can see most of it, so that'll be nice for you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for you. So we're going to look into all sorts of interesting stuff. And there is an extended at the end of this as well. So in the extended, after we've gone through the Celtic cross, I'm going to pull out a different deck and I'm going to look at um, advice, advice in moving forward for you, if this reading resonates for you. So the link is at the top of the description for the extended if you're drawn to it. So let's get started, Virgo. Oh gosh, <laughs> these big decks. Okay, here we go. And with the big decks, you can't force them together. You have to let them fall into each other. That's what that is. Virgo. We're going to do a Celtic cross for Virgo. Yeah, I don't even know if I've done one on my channel. It's so long. It's one of the first um, spreads that, like, when I was really learning tarot for myself that I was doing. So it's almost like a getting back to basics. Cool. All right, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Sexy, sexy Virgo. <clears throat> All right, sexy Virgo. You're starting off well. You got the sun. Okay, I gotta make sure I give myself enough space here. You can see it all. I'm gonna explain it in a minute. card you got the six of water down here like the six of cups for um you know what to focus on or what your focus should be on i just it always looks like to me <laughs> she has a tummy ache <laughs> Ooh, interesting ten of fire for your past your <laughs> Your strength is being you, and you, and you, and you, and you. <laughs> you go into that hermit mode, man. You find those answers within. Your future. Well, you're going to find some answers. You're going to shake some shit up. Or some shit's coming to shake you up. Something's going to come and knock on this door. You're going to push the door open and go and do something. That's what it's like. Mm, the page of earth. I really like this card. I've been getting some interesting messages out of that card the last little while. Interesting, you have a page and then you have a messenger, which is funny because pages are like messengers. But this page actually, no, I'm reading it differently. Okay. Gosh, page, page, messenger, messenger, page of water, your hopes and fears. I'm going to try to get this to fit in. The potential future is the ten of cups. <laughs> ah, that's good. Buddha baby. Look at this. I love it because the hermit, it's almost like going onto some sort of tree, retreat. The hermit is your strength card, is your strength right now. And what is it, the, um, the potential future for you is the ten of cups. It's like Buddha, the happy laughing Buddha, like really being spiritually grounded, feeling really good, having growth and abundance, but only after, you know, like really focusing in, on what your strengths are. And I know people are saying like, you're a few people, you're not looking at, I know. I think you guys are over here, right? Which is hard for me because there's all this stuff on the screen over here, like my screen, like a, a screenshot button. 
there. There's the screenshot button right there. And then there's the record button. <laughs> and then I'm holding the cards up and I have to seem to look over there. I'm really sorry. I'm really talking to you. I'm sorry if it feels like I'm talking over your shoulder, but I'm looking at you. So, yeah. These are really good cards, but there's been some effort involved in this, right? Like, it's not to say, like, oh, Virgo, you just... Everything's just falling into your lap here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is. And now you have the two of water, the two of cups at the bottom. I want to say maybe it is about to start... Stuff is about to start falling into your lap. That's what I would say this reading is. I need to write that down. I always forget these. I have these great... I know what I'm going to call them. I just wrote it in something that almost looks like shorthand. So, okay, let's get back on with this. Um, yeah, stuff is about to start falling into your lap. Maybe even on some level kind of dramatically here. <clears throat> but it's good. It feels like good stuff. It's going to change. Uh, it's going to change things for you. It's the tower. So on some level here, there's going to feel like a disturbance. Well... <laughs> I want to say anything feels like a, a disturbance if you've been in this energy and it starts to change. Because this is an isolated energy. This is being very self-contained with your feelings, your emotions, and your thoughts. And even physically, like really not going out too much and doing stuff. So any big changes to this are going to feel like a tower moment. But it seems pretty good. I really, you are, where you are right now is the sun. Like you are on your path. If it doesn't feel like you're about to reach your wish fulfillments, if it doesn't feel like you're about to really hatch out and be who you are in a very genuine way and experience life in a full, genuine, beautiful, warm way, you're on the path to that. And the cards are saying this, whoever this is resonating for. All right, like not every reading is meant for us, but if it feels like it's for us, like, yeah, you know what? I'm kind of feeling that. And everyone's timeline is a little different too. But now the three of earth, this is your, this is what kind of challenges or crosses your um like where you are and where you want to keep going this three of earth reminds me of the three of wands i mean it's almost like someone looking out for something to come in so the three of pentacles i feel like if i combine that energy for you and your strength right now is to be in the hermit mode so the challenge is to to go within and come up with your answers for how you want to move out of hermit and share your energy, everything that you've learned about yourself, any, every way that you understand yourself in the world, how do you want to move forward and share that energy with others? What is your expectation? Because the three of wands is kind of like an expectation, an expectation of something. So what is your expectation for yourself moving forward into like the three of pentacles though, the three of earth? How will I share my energy? That's your... Um, that's a challenge here. It doesn't feel like a heavy challenge. I feel like you're you're like meeting it though. So focus on is your six of cups. I want to read this card. At, I'm gonna hold it here, so I'm looking more over here. Is more of um because the way she's holding her stomach, it's almost like your your third chakra, you know, like your your kind of your confidence. Focus on that. And with this card being your strength, I mean, you're doing some internal work here, healing, self-reflection, looking at the patterns in your life, picking up on that, and perhaps like inner child work, like finding your inner child again, healing that, allowing it to come through, allowing it to be part of your life again, and part of how you express yourself. But, you know, it's, that's, that's to kind of focus on. So as you're in the hermit, focus on healing your inner child. And in healing that inner child, the challenge that you meet is how you would like to continue to share your energy. How are you going to share your energy? What is the expectation in sharing your energy? Mm -hmm. It's actually flowing. Your, your cards are flowing really, really well. So the your past is the ten of fire. So you've ended something here. You've 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 allowed the heavy burden to be dropped. Whatever that is. And you know, it doesn't always have to be physical. Like she's burning well, she's burning paper. 
Maybe he's just getting rid of stuff too. I mean, maybe you're, you're, you could be getting, like physically getting rid of things from your past that just don't have any purpose for you moving forward. Or you've sort of, sort of done a Mary Kondo. Like, is this something that brings me joy in my life at this point? Is it something that brings joy into your life? Is it something that, um, that depletes your life? Like, how does this make you feel? It, it almost feel like you've kind of taken some time to, to Virgo, to Virgo your space, to like look at it and kind of determine, is it worth having in my life? But being a 10 of wands, it's never easy. These are not easy choices. So, you know, some of it could be more frivolous things that you have in your life and others could be like relationships, it could be how you see yourself moving forward, what you want out of life could have changed and you're dropping that. So you've done like really actually these cards are really I was good. I think you were really meant to have this spread. If you can't see it all, I don't know how to angle the camera. We'd well, have to see just the table. <laughs> Some people say, oh, we want to see your reaction, Cindy. So maybe it would be funny. You know, <laughs> you ever seen those photos from like the 80s where they used to blend images together and they're so funny. You would have like maybe it was like a child's portrait and they're and it's almost like their their head their body fades out from their head into like this mist of, and then down in the little corner would be like the parents and like their heads kind of superimposed and you would, I could have like a little superimposed image of my face down here and you could just see the table. Anyways, I mean I have to have some fun because you can't just have the reading go without some fun. So this the um the tower, this is your future. So either, you know, the world is going to come knocking or you're going to knock the door down and go out into the world. That's what that feels like. Because it's hermit. You're in the sun. You're in your element. You're in your happiness. You're in your joy. You're in your hermit mode. It's like, oh, this is great. It's wonderful. But, I mean, you can't continue to grow and expand on a physical soul level. Both. Both those elements. Your physical and your soul journey here. If you're always just a hermit. Because you are connected to the cosmos. I don't know. Maybe some of you, if you really want. But I, I feel like there, life is to be enjoyed in the three dimension. I feel like Virgo understands that, being a, an, an earth sign. Like, life is to be enjoyed in the third dimension here. So, the Vir, like, you could physically actually be going through and just, like, puttering through your space, tidying up, organizing it. Uh, it's almost like nesting. It kind of feels like it could be sort of like a nesting energy. And you're feeling really comfy cozy. I'm feeling so comfy cozy in that. <laughs> like her, Virgo saying, like, it's very it's comfy cozy for me to do that right now. But I know moving forward, I need to go beyond this. So what is my expectation? What do I have for myself? And what do I expect of others when I do this? Hmm. <laughs> It's going to be a change. It is shaking stuff up, which also kind of tells me in a way, I don't think you're going to be going back into self-reflection for a while. I think you will have spent some time doing that. Maybe a lot of time. A lot of us have been hermits. A lot of us have been enjoying that Virgo energy for 12 months now. Um, but moving forward, it kind of feels like the start of a new cycle to me. Or you're sort of already in that. And this is how you're starting the new cycle, which is really taking um, <clears throat> stock and everything around you and everything within you. So I feel too like the tower is also sort of saying, once you get out there, once the door opens, I don't feel like you're going to go back in to take stock again. You're going to start exploring and expanding with all the new elements of yourself and what you've grown into and what you've become. <clears throat> so... Your suggested approach. Oh, God. Okay, I was saying this card has been speaking to me in a really beautiful way lately. And it is so in line with everything I've just talked about right now. Like coming back to the cards and looking at it. So this page of Earth reminds me of all the things that you could, uh, you could philosophically explore in your mind. Everything that you could wonder about and learn about. Taking that and then applying it to life. Taking that and applying it to life moving forward like this this magic one that's just what i feel i don't know you can look at the look at the the imagery in the card and how you feel that depiction i just feel so much like 
like this is the imagination like look at this i'm going to be the king of the forest here right this young boy i'm going to be the king of the forest i'm going to make these front antlers like just seeing a set of dead branches hanging off of a tree those would be perfect antlers for the king of the forest so i'm going to put them, and then physically doing it right physically doing it i'm also you know there's some times where i just need to get from point a to point b really fast because I'm the king of the forest and the king of the forest needs to do things. So I need a set of wings. That's what I need to do. So then applying that, how are you gonna let yourself move forward? How are you gonna allow yourself to move forward and collaborate with the rest of the forest? How are you gonna do that? And then your wand to always have the magic and the inspiration for you. So grounding all of that, everything you're learning in here and coming out, sorry, I still haven't had a massage after moving. Everything that you've learned coming out of here and applying it, but you're applying it in a fresh new way. You're applying it in, um, you know, it kind of feels like, it feels like because the page of pentacles, the earth of pentacles is very studious. Like if out of all of them, it's sort of like the, the young student in the tarot. It reminds me a little bit, like, say a kid, and you've gone into, you've done some sort of interesting science experiment in class, or you've read about it, or, so, I don't know, well, probably not physics, because this feels young. Like, I don't know, this boy feels like it probably somewhere between 9 and 10, maybe 11, I don't know, like that sort of age range. So you've learned something, you've read something in a book, and you go out for recess, or you just go outside, and now you really want to see if you cut a worm in half. The both ends continue to live and it doesn't have to be that brutal but it's that sort of exploration about life now i've read it now i've looked at it internally and now i want to start applying it so that's your suggested approach as you i want to say come out of the door now um what you need to know so the messenger of fire maybe this is part of the the tower like what you need to know the messenger of fire there so this is like the page of the um well i know because the the pages are the pages that's why i get a little confusing in here because pages are like messengers to me too but also knights can be like a messenger because they, they they're coming forward a knight is coming forward with some sort of action the action can be the message so there could be some sort of body language coming towards you that has a message to convey. And this feels like if you're the young king of the forest, this almost feels sort of like the queen or the knight of the forest. Like with all this, you know, I've got my little crown too. Look what I've created here. It is very playful, but there is some sort of what you need to know. I do feel like there might be some sort of energy that comes towards you when you walk out the door. When you walk out the door, it feels a little bit to me more like you are making a choice to walk out the door because like your approach is very gentle, very kind of moving forward, curiosity, what can I find today and how does this work in my life now? I feel like you make the choice to kind of come out of um, self-reflection and see how you can start applying this energy now moving forward, it's sort of like almost like a new you, a new element of you. A new part of you that is hatched out and at, when you do that what you need to know is that there will be energy that does come towards you energy that almost is like gravitated towards you like it's like the the knight of wands like energy that feels really passionate and energized about you like your energy so you kind of pull this in it's almost like maybe you have a bit of this um sort of cloaked in you as you come out because this is very playful this is a very playful like let's and almost to me, like holding a wand, holding the magic wand, like you have some sort of essence of, of this in you and moving forward. I just got two wands. I can't get over how much this boy looks like um, the youngest boy. <clears throat> um, a friend of mine whose kids go to the same school as mine. Oh, she's my Aries friend who keeps the wine in the garage. I can't get over how much he looks like her boy. But anyways, wow, he's really decorated the antlers too. This is very creative. Like you have a very creative spin to apply as you ground, you know, everything you've learned about yourself and move it forward. What was he hanging on to there? He's got another, he's got this wand to me, like his magic staff. And then there's another one. What is that? It almost looks like it has pincers on it. Do you see? 
don't know if I get too close with this camera. Like, it looks like a set of pincers. Like, you know, almost like those little, <laughs> if you need to grab something from the shelf. But it's a really fancy one. Like, it's made out of metals. Yeah, it looks like the whole thing is made out of metals. Um, so what I'm getting from that is kind of things that maybe seemed out of your reach before. Having the tools to be able to reach them now. Having the tools to be able to reach them. Um, so, we <laughs> so your hopes and fears are the page of water. Oh, it's kind of cute, right? Because now we have these two pages. But water really um, replenishes the earth. And the earth gives water direction to flow. So if you think about that, and I mean, both of these are very equal. They're both in the page. So this tells me too, so almost like an energy of someone coming up out of the depths, being a little, a little mermaid here and trying to figure out, well, how do I work outside of this element? But the best way for water to really work outside of its element is to find some solid ground and because that can guide it and move it. And then over time, water and earth will work together and water will even start to carve through the earth and give itself its own direction. But because these are both really young and youthful, it feels like they may not know how to connect. I mean, it's almost a desire for something to come in. And if you look at this, it almost looks sort of dry. It, does, it doesn't look like lush and sort of lime greens. These are more kind of burnt sienna kind of colors. So it looks, it has that feeling of sort of like a drier earth where this feels cool, but there really isn't much earth tone in there. So I don't know if this, this page could be another person, your hopes and fears of what are you going to meet when you go out there? That you, you're, you're kind of your, your deeper hope here is to meet someone that's not exactly like you, but can add some element to your journey that feels really good, that feels really nourishing to what you're creating and who you are. But also, I think your fear is that you actually do have something to add to that because this also gives direction to water. This allows all the imagination and all the fantasy and dreams and hopes and love to have a place to flow and to have a way to move forward. But over time, these really start to work together. Whereas initially the energy of the earth may provide the direction for the water. But then as these two get to know each other better and the water understands some of the vulnerable aspects of the earth, starts to go behind the, the harder, more immobile rocks and find that loose silt that it can, now it can move that big rock. It's, it's a really an interesting dynamic and a hope and a fear here. I like that. It's, it's kind of cute. So, well, your potential future is a ten of cups. It's a ten of water. So this is, uh, all the elements of you, this is sort of like, well, was Buddha a hermit? Yeah, I would say at times he was. But Buddha was also very jovial. He was one that really um, connected with others who didn't live in complete isolation like a full-on hermit. So this is all, almost as if moving forward in this exploration, you have the potential here to to be not only you but on a higher level and it kind of feels like it doesn't and i don't mean to say like well it has to be a water sign or somebody who's really creative too but on a very emotional level a much more emotional maybe poetic level where yours is like um a very creative uh how do i turn this into a play or how do i um make this a structure that people can go in and they can feel it and understand it or how do I write a book about this like it's just a very it's just a little bit different but it flows and it allows you to to really grow and expand on a level that feels very normal oh my gosh right and then you had the two of water at the bottom and actually then it's reversed your open fear is something that feels very natural for you Going into that, it's a little bit like having the genie in the bottle because this this shows it that you're on some sort of a path here with the sun for your hopes and your wishes and your dreams to come true. But you're really just trying to figure out, well, how do I, 
how do I go out into that and discover who I am and how and what is my expectation here? Do I have expectations? Or maybe that's transforming this, what feels like a three of wands into a three of earth. Maybe not having expectations and just going and just collaborating and finding out what can happen. Because there's no expectation to be had with how water and earth would meet. With how these two elements would meet in life. I don't even need to clarify. Which guy? Did you like, did you like the Celtic cross? I kind of liked it. So what I'm going to do now is... um. I like about doing these videos. My Aries Gemini, like, I sometimes just don't give you time to and people to answer questions. It's like, I already know what you're going to say. Okay, let's go on to the next conversation. You know, I don't have to wait for anyone to actually physically answer me in the video. <laughs> I can go back and self-reflect and go look at the comments. Go, okay, yeah, they did like that. That was good to know. Maybe in real life, I should walk around with like a little pad of paper and say, okay, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. We're going to talk about some stuff here. Just write it down because I'm just going to keep going and you may not have time to respond. <laughs> you see, that's something I learned about too with water. I talk about her a lot. I have to ask her if I can start. No, I won't use her name. Even if she gave me, I don't want to use her name. Um, but she's like my Pisces friend. And she's, she already said, she said, because we're in walking distance with each other and lockdown is, has been lifted. So we're gonna do like a social distance at one of the, like in one of our garages or something. And she's gonna bring the wine. But um, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh yeah, she is one of those, she will sit and she will listen to every word you say. And she won't even answer right away. Like she'll have like a, a nice pause. I always think to myself, Joy, I wish I could be like her. <laughs> she's like so, so calm and mellow. Anyways. I don't know why I was talking about it. I'm going to go do your extended. See? I'm going to go do your extended. I think this is so self-contained. I have to kind of burst out of it a little bit at the end there. I have to burst out of it a little bit with my little own creative spark for you. So um, I'm going to go do the extended. I'm going to use a different deck. And I'm going to just ask for advice for you. Because it looks like um, things are playing out really, really well. So I'm going to look for advice and see what else we can pull out moving forward. And that's the end of that. So thank you. <laughs> I think this comes out tomorrow too, Virgo. I think it does. I don't know. Sometimes I think they just tease me. They tell me it's going to come out. So yeah, I think this comes out tomorrow. And I think that would mean then just races on the top. And that's easy. That's just, just messy to eat. But it's easier to talk. So that's what I got for you. So anyways. Uh, just about, I felt like I was talking to the phone. I was going to say, okay, I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to talk to you later. Until next time, Virgo. Do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.